Hi buns, now I know what you're thinking, holy shit this is really early, but this is for the few who want to be ultra prepared for the new patches that come out, and we got a lot of stuff coming 6.4. Make sure to give a like on this video for good pets, and hey if you want to take our relationship to the next level, then come join me on Twitch, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 11am PST. There are quite a few things that you can start now. One of those things are preparing for gathering nodes. This is going to be in preparation for our new crafted battle gear for the new raid tier coming out. It will be delayed one week from patch drop. If you wanted to capitalize on these sales, then you'll need materia to meld your gatherer's gear and crafter's gear. And you'll want to make sure to meld your gatherer's gear in order to hit the breakpoints and make gathering that much more efficient. If you are completely lost on materia melding, then you can follow the team craft guide on melding as they work out the biz or best in slot melds if you're at that point in the game. Now, if you're not at that point, but you want to get there before patch 6.4, then I would go for the new Splendorous tools as they come pretty close to the instigators and can be a short-term solution if you have zero main and off hands for your Disciple of Land and Disciple of Hand classes. I will put the link to their guide down below in the description box. We will be getting an update to Blue Mage and with that means you need to continue the Blue Mage story if you've not completed it. The really annoying part I think is the carnival requirements but they're not that difficult as much as they are gimmicky. A lot of these are actually silly fights that just have silly mechanics rather than a straight battle. I use Ulrich's basic guide to mass carnival website which essentially breaks down how to complete every single level, all 31, and what spells you need. I would say this guide is basically a necessity at that point and that will also be down below. If you're a crafter and gatherer main and have yet to find the inspiration to work on the Splendorous tools, starting them now would be your best bet. It's a way lower barrier for entry even for beginner crafters, two steps that aren't all that difficult, it's just more about getting white scripts in order to obtain the tool, and then the few crafting that you have to do to turn in the materials, which all can be macroed at this point. If you wanted to have these done by the time the next steps come out, which is patch 6.45, I would just start doing custom deliveries every week and you'll probably have more than enough scripts by that time to have all your weapons done. Also, custom deliveries take about 5 to 10 minutes a week. If you wanted to cram last minute, like a lot of us do, I specifically do this all the time, then you can do white script collectible stuff like Rarified Drought, which is the best one since it requires no pre-crafts and you can get Birkenstap from your battle retainer ventures. Moving on, we are getting an update to Island Sanctuary, which I recommend for everyone to do, even if you don't like the content, because basically once you finish it, which again, not difficult, it's completely self-sustaining. I was rank 10, and when rank 12 came out in the previous patch, I just did the workshops, which gives you experience every day, and did zero gathering to get to rank 12. Not only that, you get a shit ton of cool ass mounts and glams from here. We will be getting new ranks and rewards, etc. for patch 6.4, so if you start now, you can do it pretty easily by the time it comes out. Like, who would not want to get this gator mount, you know? New Mandeville relics will come out in 6.45 and there's a lot of people who are getting a lot of the different relics, not just one or two. This is actually good though that it's a long ways away because you can just be doing dailies, leveling up other jobs, and or doing hunt trains which we'll cover a little bit later. Since hunt trains are probably going to be the answer to most of your questions on what you should be doing. When a new raid comes out, we see a gigantic increase in battle material farming and sales as many players want a fully pentamelded battle crafted gear set to give them the best chance possible for the new raid tier. You can be one of two players here. One, you can gather these to sell as we still see a pretty decent uptick of sales during this time since any type of pentamelding can be very heartbreaking to the wallet. Or you can gather these yourself now so then you don't have to be the purchaser later on. The best way as always to kill many birds with one stones is as you know hunt trains. You will get tombstones for your Mandervale relics step 2, you'll get clusters for your battle materia for your battle crafted gear for 6.4 and you'll get depression from doing a shit ton of these to prepare. Just kidding, kind of. But this is the best method and it actually won't take as long as you think. A hunt train a day will keep the lack of procrastination away. Lastly, we're going to get new tombstones, which are called comedy, which is actually comedy, which means you're going to want to have a max set of tombstones to turn in for the new patch. This probably means we're getting new materials, which is going to be for the new crafted battle gear. So make sure to have a full stack before patch day in order to jump in and start crafting the stuff or at least selling the materials for the crafters who are going to want to make this and make a lot of money. Even though raiding is delayed one week, the sales are still there on the market board. 
Also, don't worry if you're just watching this to support my channel. I'm gonna make another oh shit, I waited too long to do this, now panicking guide for 6.4 as it gets closer. Lulz. A huge thank you to all of my Patreon, Discord, YouTube, and Twitch supporters as your support really makes this channel possible. You have no idea. I couldn't be making content if it wasn't for you. If you want to get to know me personally a little bit better, then come hang out on Twitch with me. I stream Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays at 11 a.m. PST, and we play Final Fantasy, Genshin, and all sorts of fun other nefarious bun things. You can also join my Discord, all the information's always there. I hope you all have a wonderful preparation for patch 6.4, and I'll see you in my next video. If you want to watch the vast library of Final Fantasy guides and tutorials that I've already created about this game, then you can find my most watched playlist in the description box down below, or you can click here.